Well, good morning. Today is Saturday, June 2nd, and it's time for our Weight Watchers weekly meeting highlights. And today is called Go Out and Play. Um, as you can see, I'm not dressed for summer. <laughs> this is where I live in Michigan. Blink your eyes and the weather changes. Two days ago, day before yesterday, it was 95. Today, it's 56. <laughs> Only in Michigan. I'm sure it's true all around the world, but no, it's just, I, I, got, I went to my meeting and I had my shorts on and the t-shirt that I have on underneath here. And I got outside and I was cold, <laughs> but I still went. So anyway, we're gonna talk about the book in a minute, but first I'm gonna tell you that I didn't have a loss and I really don't consider this a gain. I, gain, I did gain 0.1, so it brings me back up to 236.3. Um, even my leader that weighed me, she said, you know, do you, sh you sure you don't want to go to the bathroom? <laughs> because uh, that's an ounce. Uh, I, can, I can live with an ounce. I did lose for the, whole, for the previous four weeks a total of, um, what was it? Three, 7.2, or 8.3 rather, last month. Was that right? 3.7 and 2.9 is 6.6. .6. 7.9, 7.9. I lost 7.9 in the previous four weeks. So um, the one ounce gain today is really not gonna bother me, but I got this. You got this too, we both got this. So we just have to know that, uh, you know, it's it's just a small one ounce gain. That, that could fluctuate, it could just be sodium. I'm not gonna worry about it. But I'm gonna follow the advice of the book and I'm gonna get out there and play, I really am. And the quote that uh, she had on the board today, which I really liked, was push harder than yesterday if you want a different tomorrow. And um, I, I so agree with that. So let's talk about the book because um, she did talk about it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, Ever notice how being active outside makes everything a little bit more fun? Walking seems more like an adventure. Running seems easier. Playing with the dog becomes a field trip. It's not your imagination because entire studies have been conducted on these feelings and the findings are clear. For example, compared to walking outdoors, taking a stroll outdoors is associated with vitality, self improved self-esteem, engagement, and revitalization as well as feelings of energy, pleasure, and delight. Plus, outdoor walkers feel more motivated to walk again than people who step indoors. If you've been following me for a while, you know I cannot stand to walk inside. I have tried all the exercise videos that you guys have recommended to me. I've tried the Leslie Sansoon. Um, I've done um, Richard Simmons, um, Dancing with the Oldies. I've tried all of those things. I've walked in my house when the weather wasn't well, you know, like uh, uh, safe enough for me to walk outside. Um, I like walking in the cold. I prefer walking in the winter than the spring and summer. I, I don't mind the cold. Uh, I just don't walk in the winter because of the ice and the snow. When I had to walk in the house, it was drudgery to me. It really was, it was just boring. And not that I walk the same path every day, but every day I see something a little bit different. You know, like, especially now people's flowers are coming up and more people are out so that you can associate and talk with people. And uh, you see other people out walking. It's, it's just a better, uh, better feeling for me. I, I just get more enjoyment out of walking outside. When I do it in the house, it feels like exercise. When I do it outside, it just feels like a, a, a pleasurely little stroll around the neighborhood. I really do like it. But they say, of course, no matter what you do, activity delivers many wellness perks. Uh, research confirms that regular physical activity anywhere, any kind of activity that you do, improves your mood, uh, your quality of life, your self-esteem, uh, your sweet sleep quality, and your ability to handle stress. Um, if, if you're really having a, like a really stressful situation, sometimes it's just better to step away and walk away from it. And I think if, if, if even if you're at work, just get up and walk to the bathroom. I mean, I know it's not like a big major walk a lot of times, but you're, you're separating yourself from the stress that at that particular moment is really driving you crazy. Uh, if you really think that uh, if something's so stress related that it's gonna lead you to make a bad choice food wise, um, just say, well, you know what? I'm gonna walk over to this, you know, like if you're at work, say I'm gonna walk over to the printer first 
and get a glass, a glass of water or drink of water from the water fountain and then go back to my desk and then decide, do I really want to go hit that vending machine or do I really want to go up to the store or pick that up? Um, it's always better if you're home not to have stuff in your house because then you got to figure out, well, do I really want to get in the car and drive there to get something? Whereas if you're in the living room and you have a stress and you just say, well, I think I'll go in the cupboard and get some cookies, you know, uh, it's too hard to not make a smart choice at that point because it's, it's very easily accessible for you to get something bad. Not that cookies and that are bad. Anything... Anything is bad if you if you abuse it. You can take anything within limits as long as you you know your limits to what you can have. If I know that the uh, Keebler Elf fudge cookies are my downfall, the little the ones that look like an elf with the chocolate filling, so I don't bring them in the house. I I really don't. But um, like I like an Oreo cookie, but it's not. It's not something that I'm going to run to and think I got to eat a million Oreo cookies. If I really need a sweet. I'm not really one for a store-bought cookie other than the fudge cookies, but uh, I'll have a cookie, but you know, I'll just have the one and move on. So what you want to do is head out the door and do things that you love or try a few new activities. This year I'm going to try to ride my bike. I have a bike. I haven't ridden it in years. Uh, I'm thinking that I'm going to do my walk in the morning and then I'm going to try to take a, a walk, uh, ride on my bike in the evenings and see if that helps me out. When combined with eating better, increasing your physical activity can lead to 20% greater weight loss than changing your eating habits alone. We also know that physical activity is the single best predictor of who keeps weight off and who doesn't. It only makes sense. The more you move, the more you're going to lose. Um, you can't just exercise and lose weight, and you can't just diet and lose weight. You can, you can lose weight on either pro, uh, plan. If you're just exercising, you can lose weight. But you're not going to lose it as well as if you incorporate a good weight loss diet with it. And the same goes true if you have a good weight loss diet. You need the exercise. Um, the older you get, the more you need to move just to keep your bones moving and your body moving and your joints and your muscles. And it's just all around it makes you feel better. And then at night you sleep so much better because you've... Uh, I know there's a difference between just sleeping out of boredom and a sleeping out of necessity. If you're sleeping out of boredom, your body's really not getting, in my opinion, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on TV. <laughs> no, um, I think that when you sleep out of boredom, you're not getting the same, uh, your body's not rebuilding itself like it would if you've exercised and you've used your muscles and your blood's been pumping through your body and you're replenishing the, the, the things that your body needs. Um, when people are motivated to engage in physical activity for pleasure rather than exercise, they're more likely to lose weight and keep it over, off over time. I find that to be so true. I, I, and I've said this and I said it earlier in my video, I do not consider walking an exercise. I really don't. I enjoy doing it and um, the fact that I don't consider it an exercise, I look forward to it. I get up in the morning and and I just know the first thing I'm going to do is get out of bed and go for my walk. And, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And it, it's not strenuous. The only thing it costs me is a good pair of shoes, a hat. And this year I'm going to wear sunscreen. So i got to buy some sunscreen. So what they want you to do is make an outdoor plan. Uh, or make an outdoor action plan. Number one, choose an activity that you enjoy. And then... Um, Think of different things that you might want to consider doing. Gardening, which I do. Um, when, after I get back from my walk, I water my flowers and I do a little bit of weeding. I find that if I do a little bit of weeding each day, it's not so overwhelming. Uh, riding a bike, which I told you I'm going to be doing. Uh, hiking. Uh, see, I, with my knees, I mean, I have re knee replacements, but I'm not really, I still have problems on uneven surfaces. I haven't flown a kite in forever playing hide or seek or tag with the kids, miniature golf, walking the dog, playing ball, skateboarding. Oh, could you see me on a skateboard? <laughs> That'd be a scary sight. Swimming. Um, these are all things that we can all do. But you, what you want to do is set a realistic goal to help you stay motivated. And answer these questions with specifics. What will I do? I'm going to go for a bike ride every night. Oh, when will I do it? After night, after dinner. Where will I do it? I'm just going to do it around my subdivision. If I go around from my house all the way around my whole subdivision and come back to my house is one mile. Just do maybe two miles a night. 
Um, and whom will I do it with? I'm going to try to get Denise to do it with me. I Jim has a bike, but uh, he he won't ride a bike. I've I've tried. I really have tried. Um, and track your activity afterward afterward in the Weight Watcher app, either manually or on your fitness monitor. Now, I've never used the fitness um, app, so I don't know how it works, and I don't know how to tell you how to make it work. But um, I'm sure there's a way to make it work. But if you know how to do it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and then the Think Again page. I always like the Think Again page because it really does make you think again. The unhelpful thought is, the idea of moving more is daunting because I don't really like doing it. But the helpful thought is, moving more doesn't have to be daunting. I just need to choose an activity that I enjoy, like just playing fetch with my dog. And then your dog's getting exercise too. Um, an unhelpful thought is, I hate being stuck inside, but only working out in the gym really counts for any activity benefits I want to get. But the helpful thought is, going to the gym isn't the only thing that counts for activity benefits. Any movement counts, outside or inside. It's important that I do what works for me. Um, a lot of times it's hard to get in that car and drive to the gym. Um, but it's not that hard to walk out your front door and just go for a walk around the block. That's just really easy enough to do. But one moment, I'll be right back. My granddaughter's with me today, and she had a question I had to answer. But anyway... Um, Here's the recipe for a shrimp salad sandwich, which does look pretty good, but I don't like shrimp. But uh, my friend at the meeting suggested that I use tuna. So I think I might try a tuna. That looks like it might be something that I might like. Well, anyway, we want to get out there and play. Um, what we want to do for the summer is we want to set goals for our success. We also want to remember a dream written down with a date becomes a goal. A goal broken into steps becomes a plan, and a plan backed by action becomes reality. I just love that. It makes perfect sense. So you want to remember your goals for the summer. The first goal you want to have is to remember it's a lifestyle, and you have to have fun, but be aware of what you're doing. Um, you're going to go on picnics. You're going to have potato salad. You're going to have macaroni salad. You're going to have ribs. You're going to have all of this stuff. Plan for it accordingly. Have zero-point meals beforehand so that you can use the points for stuff that you like. If you really like potato salad and you like potato chips, you can have potato chips any day of the week. But potato salad takes a little bit of effort. So choose, do I want to have potato salads and then nibble on chips later or just have the potato salad? It's all about making smart, aware choices. Um, you want to exercise more, especially in the summer. It's so much easier. You can get out there, go for a walk. You can go boating. You can go swimming. You can go bike riding. Um, there's just walking. Walking, I've said that more than once. It's just, that's such a good exercise. And when you're out on picnics, just watch the food you choose. Um, you can have, you can have all picnic foods. It's just, you have to eat them within reason and just don't go crazy. And also, always remember, always, 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 any activity is better than no activity. Even if you just get up and walk around your house on commercial breaks or stand up and watch TV and like do leg lifts or leg kicks or something. Just any little bit of exercise helps. So I hope this helped you out and um, let's have a better week. I'm going to have a better week and I know we will and we are going to move more. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, uh, comment, uh, hit the like button and share if you think this will help somebody and I will see you guys next week or on my daily vlog.